Hi everybody, this is the Green Frog here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we're going to be doing episode 14 of my Survival Series Season 3. And as you can see, um, after last episode's complete failure, <laughs> um, my inventory is completely ready to um, make a better episode this time and actually get the nether hub completed. Got tons of rails, and powered rails, plenty of minecarts, tons of obsidian, along with the flint and steel, plenty of extra iron, and um, some backup gear just in case I die. Um, so I enchanted iron stem, I really good enchanted diamond. The only diamond thing I have is right here, it's my lucky pick. One thing I just noticed that I think I'm going to change is I'm going to swap out this um, unenchanted bow um, for the um, super sniper, just in case... Um, Actually, no, that's a silly idea, because, well, I suppose if I mine into a cave and there's a gas, I really wanted a good bow, um, so I can get rid of gas, um, instantly. Even though I shouldn't be really going in the outside nether, um, at least for the first, um, part of this episode. So, um, yeah, so let's head down, um, to the nether portal. Um, I went AFKing, and that's why I have, uh, 51 levels from my AFK fish farm. So we'll head into the nether, we'll climb up, um, and then what I'm going to start doing is, um, I actually need to, um, make a tunnel in the nether, um, right, so, where is it? It's right here. So, I actually need to, uh, make a tunnel in the nether, um, hopefully that gas isn't on the roof, I don't think he can be, um, but, if we just pop up here, we should be able to get onto the roof of the nether, fairly easily, um, but we don't actually want to do that yet, because what we're going to be doing is, um, to, in order to make the, um, in order to make that stuff work with the, um, nether roof and everything, we're actually going to need to, um, make a tunnel first, um, to where we're going so that we can head up, so I need to figure out, um, where we're going, so... Right, so the main thing we're doing is the, um, the going to negative 245 and X. So we're actually going in this direction. Um, so I'll mine down just a little bit, probably down to here, and then start digging my tunnel. Um, shouldn't run into any bedrock at this level if I'm correct. So, um, as I dig this, um, the reason why I'm digging this tunnel is so I can get the, um, I can get the netherrack, um, not the netherrack, but I can get the, um, I can get the minecart down here so I can go up because you can't actually go from the overworld to a nether portal that's above, that's on the roof of the nether. Unfortunately it doesn't work like that. We have to go to one slightly below the roof of the nether. Um, okay, yeah, so there's still plenty of distance to go. Um, yeah, so that's why we're doing that and you might ask then why don't you just, um, why don't you just make a, um, why don't you just make everything down here? Well, there's two main reasons. The first one is that I'd have to dig out a three-wide tunnel instead of a one-wide tunnel. Um, so it's certainly a lot faster doing it on the roof. And the second reason, which is actually my main reason, is that um, on the roof of the nether, we don't have to worry about, like, zombie pigments spawning or anything, which we would have to worry about here, which would obstruct our minecart tracks and everything, unless we literally put, like, glass panes on top of every single rail block. That would be insane. We'd need to, like, mine out an entire desert to do that. <laughs> um... So that's why I'm still doing it on the roof anyway. At this level, there's barely any lava. I can still run into lava. There's still a chance I will, but there's like 99% chance I probably won't run into lava. Um, and if I do, I should actually probably put those in my offhand slot. That would be a good idea. Um, so keep going. I'm trying to get to uh, around X equals negative 245 here um, for our little railroad junction. So we're almost there, just a few blocks away. Um, and as I will search around, um, for everything up here, I'm going to tell you something. So, um, I added a death counter. I didn't tell you guys, but I did. In fact, I just added it between, um, last episode and this episode. If you look on my tab screen, it says five. I added those because I just added, um, before this episode. But yeah, I have five deaths. Because what happened is I was trying to get up to the roof of the nether. And I made the silliest mistake that I still cannot believe that I managed to make. What I did was I... You need to hit shift to exit the minecart. If you 
don't know what I'm talking about, watch my previous video. Um, watch my previous episode of this series. But you need to hit shift to exit the minecart. So, but if you keep holding shift, then you won't be able to, um, if you keep holding shift, then you won't be able to, um, get, you won't be able to, um, get in the minecart. So instead of just pressing shift once, I kept holding shift, which was ridiculous, but I kept doing it so that I could never get into the minecart, which was, like, ridiculous, but that's what happened. So I managed to die a lot, like, a lot, um, and, because I just kept making the same mistake. Every time I tried to get my stuff back, I'd do the same thing again. It was ridiculous. But I couldn't manage to do it actually correctly. I couldn't realize, I couldn't figure out what the problem was. Um, unfortunately, which is a bit ridiculous, but it's what happened. Um, so yeah, that's why I have so many deaths now. And unfortunately, that portal spot doesn't really work very well because of that annoying piece of bedrock there. But I think this spot should work. Um, so if I grab my obsidian, oh, I already have it <laughs> right there. Um, I have tons of obsidian. Um, 73, 1, 2, and then, um, 1, 2, 3, oh. <laughs> um, okay, never mind. How did I not see that? I'm not sure. Um, whatever. I just need to make a portal. I don't know why I'm not digging farther down. That'd be really, that'd be a really good idea, to just dig farther down. So I'm, so I, there's no way I could possibly run into any sort of, um, any sort of um, bedrock that I have to worry about. Yeah. So I'm just gonna dig a bunch farther down. So that's what happened. Yeah. I just kept holding shift, which meant that I couldn't get in the minecart. Um, so I just kept dying and dying and dying and dying and dying. So I died a total of five times. It was um, extremely frustrating. I got really annoyed because the problem was I had brought along a ton of, um, I had brought along like all my, I had brought along literally, I think it was like 47 iron blocks, literally every single piece of iron I had mined in this entire Minecraft world in case I needed to make extra rails and I had them all on me. So I was like going crazy that I was going to lose like literally every single piece of iron I've ever mined in this whole world. Luckily, I did not lose it all, <laughs> but to be honest, I came pretty close. Um, so where was the spot I picked here? The spot I picked for the, I think it was somewhere over here, even though I don't even remember now. Um, might have been up somewhere up here. I think it was. Um, was it there? What block? What? Yeah, that's 125. Um, so that should work. Right here. Yeah, that's y equals 125, which is the uh, minimum. So we're going to need to place that block, but that's not a problem. Um, so we will light this portal here. And this should be approximately um, the correct x chord. Wait. Am I'm so silly. Why did I do this? I didn't need to make this portal. I didn't need to. I'm at the negative 245 pretty much. But I'm at the complete wrong Z coordinate. And what's really silly is like this would have been good for any other if I was actually going to any of the three destinations, the plains, the swamp, or the mega taiga, then this would be perfect. Problem is I'm not. I'm going to a junction. I literally could have used the existing minecart track I already had and just gone straight up so yeah that's really silly and just gone straight up and just went along the nether I didn't need to make the portal so what I am going to do is I'm going to tear this down um, I guess I got in the conversation which is good but I did make this useless portal so what I'm going to do is um, I'm not gonna put in any of the rails yet but I'm going to get um, I'm going to tear down this but for <laughs> the three actual destinations, meaning they'll line up with the X and the Z, I'm going to um, put the portals down there and light them um, and make sure that they're all linked up and make the minecart junction, or not minecart junctions, but the minecart um, systems that let you go up to the roof. Um, and then I'll um, do a little progress update for replacing the uh, rails. Yeah, so I'll see you when I've put in all the portals and all the little minecart things.
Okay, so I have made um, everything that I need to, and I have um, set up all the uh, portals. So the portals are all set, um, all them are placed in. So as you can see, we have an insane amount of rails, along with some signs, um, some powered rails, and some levers right there. So let's hop into this portal. I'll show you everything, and I will start placing down the rails, because... Even though placing down rails is quite a boring task, it will not be boring for you guys to watch, mainly because I have a pretty interesting story that I need to tell. Um, you'll see, you'll wait till the end, see if it's such a bad thing, because it's certainly going to sound like a bad thing in the beginning, but it's not quite as bad as it seems. So, we're going to start out by hopping up here. Um, and we're gonna hop in here and jump and there we are we're into the minecart so this is the main portal um, let's see so the portals I'm going to go to first are the mega taiga and planes which are basically right next to each other um, so I'll make just one track to both of them um, so the first direction I'm going to be going in is um, I'm gonna, going to go neg to like negative 240 um, which is out in Let's see. Where's negative? Negative 240 is out in this direction. Okay, so that's where we're going to be going. Um, so we're just going to start off our track just like that. Um, and I believe if we place a powered rail um, every 32, then we should be all set. Actually, I just realized I need to make some buttons, but I don't have any stone with me at the moment. So I think I'll worry about that when we get. Um, I'll worry about that afterward. So as I placed these in, I was going to tell you guys a little story. So what happened was, um, I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but um, actually, I have, I have a good idea. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I have a very good idea. Since I'm doing it 32 between, I can literally just split these up in stacks like that, and then I know when this is done that I can um, start with the new one. So that's perfect. Um, or place the powered rail on me. So that's perfect. So... What was happening was I was, um, okay, that ruined everything, whatever, um, right, so, I don't know if I told you guys, but when we were, um, when we started, when we started out making the nether hub, and remember in the failure episode, when I had to destroy everything because we had, um, we made the nether port, we made the minecart thing up to the bedrock, um, super far away from the main house portal, so it didn't link up, and it, I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but it went to this cave, right? It went to this cave. I think I did show you guys because I got really confused. So it went to this cave um, that had water in it. Or, no, it didn't have water. But it was underneath an, uh, it was underneath an ocean. That was the thing. So it was underneath an ocean. Um, so when I went to mine up, and there was lava near me. So when I went to mine up to get out of there so I could return to my house, um, I mined to do an ocean. So I had to block it off at the bottom so the water wouldn't go in um, and then swim out. So that was all set. Okay, I heard a gas, but I don't think there's any way a gas could be here. So I think it's just um, down below the surface. So where are we going? We're going to negative 245. Right. So um, what happened was um, that was all fine. And then I managed to actually go to the wrong portal. Um... Okay, yeah, so I'm going to start going in this direction now, so, um, so I can turn, um, so it can go in the right direction at the end. Yeah, so that guy's better not be up here, but I don't think he can be. Um, right, so, um, that was all fine, but then when I went back, um, when I went back down there, or, I went back, I went back there by accident, because what actually happened was while I was trying to make this nether hub off camera, I actually went into that portal by accident, thinking it was my home portal. Um, so I went back to that cave. What happened was I mined the blocks to mine up, which wet the water in, right? So the water flows in. I accidentally drop my pickaxe. It goes straight into the water. Um, and the water happens to be flowing toward that lava pool. The pickaxe goes straight into the lava pool. And I get insanely upset. Because that was my fortune three pick my lucky pickaxe that took me so long to get and everything that got me so extremely aggravated but then what's funny um and i had to go home 
and I had to make another pickaxe. Um, so I made one that I called my lucky pickaxe V2. What's really funny is that when I went, um, when I went to my, when I went to my main portal, um, when I was going, when I was, uh, making the nether hub in this episode, I actually walked by that, um, I actually walked by that other portal, right? And there was the pickaxe on the ground next to the portal. I was like, that's pretty funny. So I went and picked it up, and it was my lucky pickaxe. So now you see I have my lucky pickaxe here, and I also have my lucky pickaxe V2, which are the same thing, because I had to make another one. So apparently I actually threw it into the nether portal. I did not throw it into the water. I actually threw it into the nether portal that, um... And it went into the nether, and since the chunks weren't loaded in the nether, everything was fine. So yeah, that's a really funny story. That's pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, now that I've told you that story, I'm going to make the um, I'm going to make the railroad system to because these two are the the planes and the mega taiga. So I'll put down the signs, and then I'll make the the uh, railroad network to the um, swamp. And yeah, then I'll be back. Okay, so I finished all the rail systems. So, I'll show you the completed system now. So, if we hop into this portal, we will show up at the location below the nether hub, um, in the nether. So, we'll hop up here. We don't even need to use any blocks anymore. I fixed it. All we need to do is jump up. So, jump up here and then shift and jump and get out. There we go. The reason why I fi changed this a bit here is because, um, I wasn't sure if mobs could spawn on this dirt block if there was a button on top. So I, just to make sure that there wouldn't be any gas spawning up here or anything, I made sure that I put a slab on top of the block, um, and then put a, the button on the side, because I know they can't spawn on bedrock through buttons or signs or levers or anything like that, and I know they can't spawn on rails. And I also have slabs on top of all the portals, if you notice that. So, um, this goes to both the, um, as the sign says, goes to both the planes and the Mega Tiger directly, since those portals are extremely close to each other. And then it also um, connects to the swamp, so you can take another minecart track to get to the swamp. The planes and Mega Taiga um, portals are literally only about um, 10 blocks away in X and around 20 away in Z. Um, you can see them right there, they're extremely close to each other. But because I did the precise math and everything, they should link up um, correctly, even though they're so close. Then the swamp one's way off in the distance in that direction. Well, let's get my sword, um, stops here, break the minecart. I always get a bit of lag when that happens, I don't know why. So let's hop in the, um, in the, in the, etch yeah, I'll hop in the Mega Taiga portal, and that should bring me to the Mega Taiga, hopefully, not the planes, Mega Taiga. Good. Now it's night, so let's get out of here. Hop back in the Mega, hop back in this portal. And we should get brought below the bedrock, which we did. Now if we hop out of here, and we come up here, and let's get up. There we go. Now if we hop in the, oh, that's not good. We want to make sure that that's perfectly aligned, um, so you can easily get up there next time. Um, it never shows your armor when you first get in the nether overworld for a bit. I think that's a bug. Now we hop in the planes. We should get transported to the planes. Hopefully. Come on. Be good. Be good. There we go. We're in the planes. There's going to be a ton of mobs since it's night, so let's get out of here. Um, planes is good for number one, horses, and number two is also good for mob hunting. Um, so now if we just hop up through here, this is the planes portal. So we hop up in this direction, um, and then we go... Where do we go? Oh, maybe we just jump. Yeah, let's jump up. There we go. So now we know that that works. So now what I need to do is I need to go over here, um, and I need to take the minecart over to the swamp, to swamp, um, and then I'll show you the swamp portal. Um, so yeah, these minecart tracks are pretty long. I have like the perfect amount of rails, 14 powered rails extra, which is like a third of what I made because I really only need to place them every 32 blocks. But literally, I only had 14 rails left, which is insane because I ha I had to make, I don't know if you saw, but I made like seven or eight stacks or something. I made so many rails, I had like the perfect number, which is awesome. Um, so we'll break that minecart, hop through the swamp portal. Um, 
so the mega tag is to get mossy cobble and podzel and coarse dirt. Um, the planes are for mob hunting and okay, so here we're in the swamp. Um, the um, the planes are for horses and mob hunting, and the swamp is for uh, slime balls and maybe I, I don't think there's a witch hut, but whatever. This is the swamp portal. I actually don't remember how to get up from here. So that's the connector I had to dig. I actually ran into some lava there, which got me pretty scared. So I guess we just hop up here. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Now we're up here. And now we can just take our leisurely minecart ride back. So two Mega Tiger and planes directly, and then it also connects to the main portal. Um, and obviously the main portal connects to my house. So, yeah. So there we go. The nether hub is completed. That's awesome because we really didn't have much bad stuff happening in this episode um, after last episode, except our two little stories that I had to tell you earlier, um, which was pretty crazy. The first one about almost losing all my iron, if you remember that. Um, and then the second one about, um, about the pickaxe that I thought I lost. It's crazy how I thought I threw it in the water. I actually threw it in the nether portal, so it's just sitting there in the nether right for me. So now I have two Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4 picks. So I am out three diamonds for the moment and will be for a bit. But once my uh, normal Lucky Pickaxe becomes unrepairable, I'll break even. Um, but it will be annoying to be out three diamonds for a bit. But it's not as bad as I thought. I didn't completely lose them forever. So yeah, um, this video is probably around 21, 22 minutes long now. And um, considering that my last episode was like 50 minutes... And I think some of the earlier, some of the recent ones were also um, fairly long. And this is the main portal. Um, I think since we got the nether hub done in this episode, and since we've had so many extra long episodes, um, I think we are going to call this episode quits right here. You can see um, we have like almost like two rows of pumpkins, which is insane. Um, and then we have an insane amount of sugar cane. Um, let's, if we pop back here, because remember, both the pumpkin and the sugar cane farm are actually double sided. Look at that. Like three and a half rows of stacks of sugarcane, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so I'm going to pop up here and I'm going to, um, instead of having this backup gear, I'm going to put on my normal gear. But like I said, I think this is going to mark the end of this episode. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, episode. I sure hope that you enjoyed it a lot more than you enjoyed last episode um, because last episode was a complete failure. So hopefully... Um, this one seems we got a lot more progress done, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like on the video. And please subscribe to my channel um, to join the Frog Pond and to hopefully get that 50 subscriber special soon. Because I've been stuck on, as of when I recorded this, I've been stuck on uh, 48 subscribers for a really long time now. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.